Hello everybody, this is Thrift with another Feed the Beast tutorial. This one is on the router from factorization and these are all the upgrades that it has with it. So that's the recipe for it real quick. You can see all these recipes using not enough items the same way I did, simply by hovering over them and pressing R or whatever your recipe hotkey is. And let's see here, this is the default router, no upgrades. It has insert and extract into top or bottom sides and into the south north, east, west side, any side at all, or you can put it into a specific slot, which is not side specific, but obviously slot specific, which is helpful for quite a few machines. And they only connect through networks, so that would be, if I had three furnaces here, that would be all in a network. And I could put a router here, and another pulverizer there, and if I don't go flying like crazy, I can put another one there. And all of that is all connected to the same network. If I destroy this router, they are not connected to the same network anymore. But now they are once again. So here's the router. And if I insert stuff into this, like you can see, I'll put some empty cells, insert to the bottom side, because, you know, whatever. These do not have an insert on the bottom side, so it will not take any. But if I change this bottom side to allow stuff in, that's still distributing things, and there you go. See, it's starting to get these empty cells. And it gets these at an even rate, see? And that is slot, or that's what you get for inserting into the bottom sides. If I insert it into the top sides, it would go up here. So if you wanted to automatically put coal into a furnace, you could insert into the bottom side, and then, insert, like, for the coal, and have another router insert all the other stuff into the top side. And it works a little bit different for these machines. As you ha could see, this has to have an insert slot. Although if I set this to insert into slot zero, and I'll give this another bunch of these, we can see slot zero is for regular furnaces, the top slot. I would assume this is slot two. And for these furnaces, this is slot zero. So you can see they're all accepting because they do have valid input. If they did not have an input, as you can see, this stopped taking empty cells even though you can tell by the purple particles that this was still distributing them and still is. And now it's done. And just to verify that it wasn't, I'll put another bunch in there and you can see this will not get any more empty cells. So that's how the network works. The color works like uh, this color is obviously uh, south. Well, it's not too obvious, but here you can see south, but the way that it's facing out of the machine, it faces north, but when you're facing the machine, that's it, you're facing south. So that's how to get the uh, directional upgrade if you cannot see the color. So now let's start seeing what the upgrades do to it. Well, if I give it a speed boost, I can start inserting and it starts to insert, I guess that's a little bit faster, you could call that. And you can verify that you have it by, you see, speed boost, no delay, and you can take out anything you want by pressing delete. And I'm not sure if it really slowed down there, but anyways. Let's say I want to give it the ejector upgrade, which if I ejected to the east side, it would eject it into that furnace right there. It would not eject it into a network as far as I know, but... Well, as far as I've tried, it doesn't work, but uh, you can use that to, let's say if I wanted to extract things into this one and put it into a network of something else, I could have another router on top of this, eject to the top, and you can see eject to top, and then a router on top would be able to accept those items and insert them into whatever network is connected. And next upgrade, we'll look at the item filter. It has nine slots in it, and you can put in, obviously, nine different items, and it will only work with those nine items. It will ignore every other item. And next one is the machine filter. I have some on me. So let's go to here. You see it works with all machines in network. You can type stuff in here, type whatever you want. And you can also just click through. So furnace would be that regular furnace. It only works with those furnaces. It would only work with those pulverizers. And you can also see things that aren't necessarily connected to the network. But if I wanted to, I can just go like boom, 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 
boom, boom, and that will be connected to the network, those obsidian chests. And that's not just plain obsidian, because obviously obsidian has no inventory. Project tables, uh, regular chests, stuff with inventories can work as a network. Uh, you can like link networks together using that, but pneumatic pipes would, or build craft pipes would not act as something that would spread a network. So you can separate networks and that's pretty helpful, or you can connect networks, which is also pretty helpful. So next is thoroughness, which it just focuses on one machine. Let's say I put another stack of cells in here and this had thoroughness. It would only focus on this one furnace until it couldn't put any more of those cells in here. And then it would move on to the next one. And the next one is bandwidth, and that moves up to a stack at a time. If there's not a stack to move, let's say you have like five items, it'll move all those five items. If you have 50 items, it'll move those 50 items up to a stack. And let's go to the injector, which I already went over. And as I said, you can see all these recipes using not enough items. They aren't that hard to build. I do recommend building them in bulk. You may need a lot of them, and it's they're very, very useful. And this is such a great tool. I will have another video coming out later about how to do a factory sorting system like that using a combination of these and something else, but that's for the next video. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day or night.